As you watch this and other political ads, take note both of what is said and what you see on the screen. You may notice that the narrations in political ads contain overly general claims which are difficult to objectively check, but what's presented on screen is sometimes more easily verified, and that's what we found in this ad. It was paid for by Honor Pennsylvania, that's a political action committee supporting Republican Dave McCormick for U.S. Senate. Why is Mehmet Oz a liberal? Here's the first claim made against Dr. Mehmet Oz, one of McCormick's chief rivals for the Republican nomination. Oz wanted to take away your gun rights. The claim that you just heard that Oz wanted to take away your gun rights is a broad claim made in the past tense, and it relates to the specific statement that's written on the screen that Oz supported red flag laws. We find this claim to be misleading based on the specific instance the ad cites. How do we keep guns out of the wrong person's hands? It refers to this episode of the Dr. Oz Show in 2019, which we found on YouTube. In it, Dr. Oz presented red flag laws as a potential way to get guns out of the wrong hands, but he does not explicitly endorse them. Another thing that may help protect you and your family are red flag laws. Red flag laws generally allow friends and family to petition a court to temporarily take away guns from someone who may be endangering themselves or others. They are not in effect in Pennsylvania. News 8 reached out to the Oz campaign and asked as a candidate if he supports red flag laws. We were told he does not and will oppose them in the Senate. Generally, how do these red flag laws work? As for the show segment highlighting these laws, the campaign told us Oz allowed different perspectives to be shared on his show, as is the tradition in network TV. The ad's next claim is that Oz promoted Obamacare. This is true. The ad specifically refers to this promo. I'm Dr. Oz. Which we also found on YouTube. It's from 2010, after the Affordable Care Act became law. Oz touted the benefits of the law for an ad campaign produced by a California advocacy group. The new health care law has so much in it that could help Californians get better and more affordable health care. The next claim is that Oz attacked pro-life legislation. This is also true by following the claim's citation. The ad refers to a 2019 interview on the Breakfast Club podcast, the full interview available on YouTube. Oz speaks at length about Alabama's near total ban on abortions, which was signed into law days before he appeared on this podcast. Just putting my doctor hat on, it's big time concern. In the interview, Oz questions banning abortion after just six weeks from conception. He says at that stage, the baby's heart is not beating. So you're asking women to decide almost instantaneously if they're pregnant or not. And they, it's also banned in case of incest and rape. And so... Uh, I don't quite get it. Also in the interview, Oz adds that he would not want anyone in his family to have an abortion. I'm pro-life. And he told News 8 in December that he opposes abortion, with exceptions for the health of the mother, rape, and incest. The ad's next claim. Oz posted about Black Lives Matter on social media. That's true. This post, which Oz put on his Instagram page in 2020, is still active. In it, he used the hashtag Black Lives Matter and wrote that racism drives health disparities among black people. And the ad's last claim. And his family business hired illegals. We find this claim to be misleading because we have no evidence Oz was involved in that decision. The company in question is Asplund Tree Experts, which is owned by Oz's wife's family. In 2017, Asplund pled guilty to hiring workers it knew were undocumented, and U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement levied its largest civil settlement ever against the company in response. News 8 found Mehmet Oz has listed himself as a shareholder in the company when he's donated to Asplund's political action committee over the years, but the campaign told us Oz has never worked at Asplund or managed it at any level. The Oz campaign is out with an ad attacking Dave McCormick for his record on China. We're checking that now and we'll have a new ad watch for you soon. We'll be checking ads involving other candidates and political races leading up to the state's primary in May. Matt Barcaro, WGAL News 8.